What, what is that? A nail. It's a nail. So the question I would put to you, do you think this would burn? Oh. Hey! Hey, welcome to Midnight Science Club. This is Jake Old Wizard 4. I'd like to introduce you to Olivia, spelled with an A. She's a wizard in training. Are you nervous? No. No, she's not nervous. She's good. She's an old ham. She's an old, do you, you sing or something? Yes. Yeah, I've, yeah. Seen, I've seen you sing, haven't I? She's a great singer. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to go through this exercise of sharpening our science skills here at Faraday Studios. So the first thing is uh, this right here. What, what is that? A nail. It's a nail. Tell me what you know about nails. Use them to put things together. Put things together, yes. yeah. They're sharp. They're sharp. What else? Um, She's thinking, <laughs> what do you know about nails? Do you know much about nails? So the question I would put to you, do you think this would burn? Yes. I feel like it can heat up a lot. Yeah. Like really hot. I think yes. it could burn. You think it could burn? Yeah. You know what steel is, by the way? Metal. It's a metal. <laughs> it's made. It's iron with a little bit of carbon in it. Yes. And that makes it extra strong. <laughs> Olivia lit her first match. So go ahead and put that in there. Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Oh, the very, t you know, the very, the very end of it. Yeah. You see, the very end of it is getting is glowing, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's uh, that's getting hot. She's actually got the very tip of the nail, the very tip of it. Not burning. It's not burning. It's not no. busting. Well, what does burning mean? Catches fire. Catches fire. Do you know the chemistry of fire? You didn't study that yet. That it combines with oxygen in the yeah. air. You know, yeah. You probably knew that. Yeah. Yeah, trying to get this to combine with uh, oxygen in the air is kind of tough. Yeah. Maybe we need to get it hotter. Look at this little thing. I saw this on, on the television. Hurry up and buy one of these fantastic things. And you're gonna do it, of course. Okay. And you just push the button there and you see that? Oh, Ooh, yeah. baby, that's hot. And you just hold still, you get it out there. All right, we're with the camera. Oh, what'd you do? Oh my God, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might blow up. What did you do? <laughs> Might blow up. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, we're all right. I think when I handed it to you, this has got liquid uh, butane in it, and some of the liquid got down in there. So it was hissing at us. Do you need to use the restroom? No, we're okay. You're okay? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman. That's what it's at to make sure. Yeah, okay, now you got it. I would guess that's 1500 degrees, if not. So you don't move, I'll move, all right? Okay. Oh, do you see the sparks? Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit. Oh, parts of that just flying off there. Firework. Oh, do you see the flame changing color? Yeah. That's an indication that it's uh, some of the iron starting to flake off of that. Oh, now we're getting hot. Is the end getting red? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. You know, you could use this to pierce your ears. I don't think I would want to use that to pierce my ears. It does it real fast. You think this is gonna get on fire? Mm -hmm. In order, in order for something to burn, you've got it's got to have <clears throat> enough heat yeah. and oxygen and fuel. Yeah. Well, if this is the fuel, and we've got plenty of air around it, right? Plenty of oxygen. What do we not have enough of? Heat. heat yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks hot enough to me. Where's the heat going? It's running down that length of that nail and spreading. It's you know, being conducted away and. The air is cooling it down. It's just not getting hot enough. So there's two things we can do, thinking like a wizard. If they already get this to work, I've either got to add more heat to the nail, or what could else could I do? But you remember when we first started, that little flake flew off? Yeah. How big was that? Small. Yeah. Small. Same stuff, but smaller, right? Yeah. So I could either add more heat or Make a smaller piece of steel? Yeah, smaller piece of steel. Smaller piece of steel. Maybe that heat wouldn't be conducted away so fast. Okay. So where would you get a smaller piece of steel? Hmm. Where would you get some smaller pieces of steel? Hey, it's Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios. We got our friends over at Hardware Science to put together a sweet little bundle. We call it the Green Bundle. Normally this would go together for what, 60 bucks, I heard him say? Or we're gonna sell it to you for 40 bucks. This kit is called Desktop Hydroponics. You say, I don't think I have anything to do with hydroponics, do I? Yes, you do. It's a part of your daily life. Balloon science. You can get a lot of trouble with balloons. And you can also learn a lot of science, especially basic physics. And some of the secrets of Newton's laws of motion 
The Wizard's Book of Science Secrets by, who is that? Who is that? Wizard Four, son of a gun. He must be a good looking guy. Aha, the green bundle. Here's this setup, this hydroponics. It demonstrates how water moves through the soil and gets up to the seed and the seed transpires and grows. This is a completed version of the balloon powered car, a construction and analog thinking. If you want to get your hands on this, just check down below and, and it'll show you how to do it. You can order this stuff, but I encourage you to do it quick because people really love these kits. So get your hands on them. I went down to the hardware store and said, do you have any small pieces of steel? He said, sure do. Looky there. What's it say? Steel wool. Look at there. Steel wool. Right there it is. They start out with rods of steel, a little bit larger than this, and they just pull it out. They stretch it and stretch it and stretch it until they get little bitty thin wires. Yeah. So let's just see if we can take some of this, these little pieces. Okay. Here, you just take it a little bit, and I'll have you hold it with the tongs here. Just hold it up there at the very top, see if it, see if it will get to burn. Woo, baby! Yeah. Right? yeah look at now blow on that a little bit. Oh yeah, you got bad breath. Just burst in place. <laughs> So that was a lot smaller pieces. Yeah. And that definitely burned. Let's do some more of that. Yeah, let's see what happens. Good start now. Take that off that flame. Yeah, look at it go. It's pretty. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. There is enough heat there to cause the oxidation to take place. Yeah. It's like a sparkler. It does, doesn't it? So why is that, that steel, the same steel as this nail, why is that one burning and it wasn't before? This one's thinner. Huh? It's thinner. thinner yeah. yeah. So I get enough heat in there to get to the combustion point, yeah. So we learned something anyway, didn't we? This is, by the way, this is the first step. We're going to keep on going. What's the first thing we learned? The steel burn? Yeah, steel yeah, burn. Yeah, under certain conditions, you got to get yeah. the right size and everything. Yeah, it does burn. Olivia, let's see what she does with the candle. Oh, yeah, I can take the candle off here. Look at that. Oh, sweet. That's sweet. Cool. Isn't that kind of cool looking? Yeah. It looks like some Martian, the Martians are eating the world or something. I don't know what that yeah. is. So what do you think, girl? <laughs> it's a lot of jar. It's a lot of jar. It's, yeah. And we got, we got steel wool down in there. I have no idea if this is going to work. Okay. I tell you what. You want the wire? I'll, I'll tow one wire. There. Okay. You touch that one. Ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a dirty trick. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, I there see. It there it goes. Whoa. Okay, well, I guess we're done. Hey, this cool. Yeah. Okay, you got your safety goggles on, right? Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, uh. No. Cut its air supply. What it is? Air. Oh, jeez. We smothered it, didn't we? Yeah. Let's see if I can fluff that back up. Touch it in there, see if you get anything. Oh, there you go, you got it, you got it, you got it. There we go, let's see if it does this time without a lid. It's a lot of smoke. No, now we know not to leave the lid on. Yeah. Sweet. Like lightning bugs. Yeah, it looks like a jar of lightning bugs. The air that we breathe is, ab is about 78, we'll say 80%, there's some other gas in there, but a little under 80% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. So most of the air we breathe is only one-fifth oxygen. I wonder what would happen if we put oxygen in there. I think we should do it. Yeah. 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 We could do that. <laughs> We're gonna put some oxygen in there. I think we should get the blast shield. <laughs> yeah. You sit right here. Okay. You sit right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's been nice knowing you ladies and gentlemen right now i've got this uh, tank of oxygen fired up and i turn this on you can hear it oxygen and i'm just going to do what's called flushing it i'm just going to flush out the air try to get the air down in there kind of move it all around there we go Okay, turn off the oxygen. I'm going back here. Okay, let's do a countdown. Three, two, one. Okay. It's not making contact. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, we've got oxygen in there now. We'll keep doing this all day. Are you ready, little girl? Yeah. It's gonna work this time. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> well, hey, I hear it cracking. Whoa. <laughs> so, well, that was cool, but uh, not cool enough for these bloodthirsty people here. You know, they want to see something. So we're going to take another jar. We've got the, the copper wires down in there. Yep. Separate apart. You still got the battery we had over there? Yeah. Okay, it's right there. You hang on to that. So I'm going to put some oxygen in this one. A lot of oxygen going in there. Trying to get it all mixed in with all the little fibers. So this time the lid's on there. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Hey! Whoa. Oh, that did you notice that the first, before we put the lid on, right? You remember how fast that went? Yeah. Now, how did this one do compared to that one? This one was a lot slower. A lot slower. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be faster, you know? With the yeah. lid. But then I forgot basic chemistry and you'll study this. One of the products of that reaction, you know, there, there's CO2, I guess, or whatever is being burned. There's carbon in the uh, steel that's burning and that gives off a gas CO2, it builds up the pressure and that will slow the reaction down. When you study chemical reactions, sometimes there's an arrow, you know, that says that you mix these things together and it goes that way. Mm -hmm. A lot of times those reactions will go the other way. Oh. It'll go that way and then it'll come back. Yeah. Look at that. Because the, the product over here will force the reaction or there'll be a lot of pressure or contamination that will slow the reaction down. So, yeah. We were hoping that there'd be enough pressure to break the jar. Yeah. And everybody go, woo! <laughs> But yeah, that's a neat chemical reaction. Steel burns. Took us a long ways to get around that corner, but we, we did, we, yeah. we did it. So there's your first day at Faraday Studio being a wit, uh, wit in training. What do you think? Are you coming back? Or are you saying enough of this stuff? I'm out of here. Love to come back. You love to come back. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I hope you all are enjoying this, but we'll remember you when you were just a budding star here at Faraday Studio. Okay. Sweet.